what makes the fragrance business successful? Now, this question is very important. There are so many different like things that you need to go ahead and look when you're actually getting into the business. Okay, anything that you're buying it for yourself is different. And anything you're buying it for your customer is different. It's not the same thing. You know, you, you might, you know, like a fragrance that is specifically your personal taste. Fragrance is very personal. You can't just go ahead and say, hey man, if I'm gonna go ahead and pick a fragrance, my customers are gonna like the same and they better buy. And they, were gonna, they better pay me the money. You know, it's very personal. So in fragrance business, you have to make sure that you keep a bunch of variety. You cannot just go ahead and say, hey man, I do not like this, so I'm not gonna do this. Oh, I like this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it to that niche only. If, if a customer is walking by on your booth or place or, or you're going to somewhere and there's like six people sitting there, they all actually have their own personal uh, taste of fragrance. You have to make sure that you actually come up with a variety of product. You can just go ahead and like say, hey man, this is one kind and this is the only kind I'm gonna sell because I like this. So it doesn't work this way. You have to make sure that when you actually get into the business of fragrance, you're gonna go ahead and carry multiple different types of uh, fragrances like fruity. There's a customer who actually wants fruity. There's another person who just wants musky. There's another person who will just say, I like woody. One person is gonna say, hey, I like floral. And some, some people are gonna come in and say, hey, I like a little bit of herbal. I like a little bit of woody. Then I want a little bit of musk. And then I want a little bit of floral in it. Then you have to go ahead and blend it and give it to them. So that's why you come to a, a place like ours where we actually have like multiple different types of uh, choices to make. And you're gonna go ahead and do blends and then you come up with a product and then you go ahead and show them. And not everybody's gonna like, like say, let's say for example, they're not gonna say, okay, I want only an oil. Some people do not want any oil on their body. I personally do not believe in putting fragrances on my body. I only put it on my clothes. So when I'm, when I'm using fragrances, I'm not doing, you know, like shh, shh, shh. like I, I don't do that. I just go ahead and take some perfume and I just like put my shirt on the, on, on a, on a, on a sofa or something. And I just go ahead and spray it right on the clothes. I don't want any fragrance on me. I don't want anything on any fragrance touching, touching me. So that's oh, just my personal preference, you know. What people are teaching out there, it's, it's their personal view and this is what they think this is gonna smell better. But for me, I just think that, okay, the smell is just gonna feel better. Just like, you know, I just wanna have a little bit on me, like on my clothes and I'm happy. So as long as, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm, I, I don't wanna be like an air freshener. I just wanna be smelling good for myself. Someone who's coming very close and personal, they can smell that, okay, I'm smelling good and clean.